Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share my Flutter projects and tutorials. In this video, I will show you how I made a radial bar chart widget using this Sync Fusion Flutter gauges package. This widget displays the storage usage. It also has a nice card design and some text labels to make it more attractive. The fourth chart of the column widget is a radial bar chart for First, we need to import the Sync Fusion Flutter Gauges package in our pubspec.yaml file. This package provides us with the S Radial Gauge widget, which is the main component of our radial bar chart. Next, you need to create a radial bar chart for class. Now we override the build method of our widget, which returns a card widget. This widget gives our radial bar chart a nice elevation and rounded corners. We set the color and surface tint color properties to white color. We also set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 20. Inside the card widget, we add a padding widget with a default padding value of 1.5. This adds some space around the edges of our chart. Then we add a column widget. The first child of the column is a row widget, which contains two main parts, the back button and the more button. The back button is an icon button widget, which displays an icon button that performs an action when pressed. We set the on pressed property to an empty function, which means that the button does not perform any action when pressed. We set the icon property to an icon widget, which displays an icon from the material design icons library. We set the icons arrow back value, which is a predefined icon that represents a left arrow. We also set the size property to 40. The more button is a container widget. We set the padding property to an edge insets with a value of 8, which adds some padding around the child widget. We set the decoration property to a box decoration object, which describes the decoration of the container. We set the shape property to box shape dot circle, which makes the container have a circular shape. We set the color property to colors dot gray, shade 200. We set the child property to an icon widget. We set the icons dot more vert value, which is a predefined icon that represents three vertical dots. We also set the size property to 40. We also add a sized box widget with a height of default padding, multiply three, which adds some vertical space between the row and the next widget. The second child of the column is a container widget, which contains the radial gauge. We set the height property to 250. We set the padding property to an edge insets with a value of five, which adds some padding around the child widget. We set the decoration property to a box decoration object, which describes the decoration of the container. We set the shape property to box shape circle, which makes the container have a circular shape. We set the color property to colors dot gray, shade 200. We set the child property to a suffradial gauge widget. This widget allows us to customize the axes, pointers, annotations, and other aspects of the gauge. For example, the radial axis widget has a single pointer of type range pointer, which is a filled arc that indicates the value of the segment. We set the value property to 65, which means that the segment covers 65% of the total range. We also set the width property to 35, which is the thickness of the segment. We also set the corner style property to corner style both curve, which makes the edges of the segment curved. We set the gradient property to a sweep gradient object, which describes the gradient of the segment. We set the colors property to a list of color objects, which are the colors of the gradient. We set the stops property to a list of double values, which are the positions of the colors along the gradient. We set the first stop to 0 0.1, which means that the first color starts at 10% of the gradient. 
we set the second stop to 0 0.75, which means that the second color ends at 75% of the gradient. We also set the axis line style property to an axis line style object, which describes the style of the axis line. We set the thickness property to 35, which matches the width of the pointer. We set the color property to colors.gray, shade 300. We set the start angle property to 5 and the end angle property to 5, which means that the segment starts and ends at the same angle, creating a circular shape. We set the show ticks property to false and the show labels property to false, which means that we do not show any ticks or labels on the axis. We also add a single annotation of type gauge annotation, which is a widget that can be placed on the gauge. We set the widget property to a text widget with a value of 70%, which is the percentage of the used storage. We set the style property to a text style with a font weight of font weight dot bold, a font size of 30, and a color of black. We set the angle property to 270, which means that the annotation is placed at the same angle as the axis line. We set the position factor property to 0 0.1, which means that the annotation is placed at 10% of the radius from the center of the gauge. The third child of the column is a sized box widget with a height of default padding, which adds some vertical space between the radial gauge and the text. The fourth child of the column is a text widget with a value of my storage, which is the title of the radial bar chart. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 30 and a font weight of font weight W700, which makes the text larger and bolder. The fifth child of the column is a row widget with a main axis alignment of main axis alignment space between which aligns the children of the row to the opposite ends of the horizontal axis. The first child of the row is a column widget with a cross axis alignment of cross axis alignment start which aligns the children of the column to the left edge. The first child of the column is a row widget which contains two widgets, a container widget and a text widget. The container widget has a height and width of 30 and a decoration property that sets the color to orange and the border radius to a border radius with a circular value of 10. The text widget has a value of used, which is the label for the used storage. We set the style property to a text style with a font weight of font weight W500 and a font size of 18, which makes the text medium and moderately large. We also add a sized box widget with a width of 5, which adds some horizontal space between the container and the text. We repeat the same process for the next row widgets, but we change the value and color. The second child of the row is an elevated button widget, which displays a raised button with a text label. We set the style property to an elevated button style from method. We set the elevation property to zero, which removes the shadow of the button. We set the primary property to this color, which sets the background color of the button. We set the padding property to an edge insets with a symmetric value of horizontal default padding and vertical default padding division two which adds some padding to the button. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border with a border radius of 10, which makes the button have rounded corners. We set the on pressed property to an empty function, which means that the button does not perform any action when pressed. We set the child property to a text widget with a value of buy more, 
which is the label of the button. We set the style property to a text style with a font size of 16 and a color of colors dot black and that's how you complete the radial bar chart widget in Flutter using the Sync Fusion package. You can see the result on the screen. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Flutter tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.